Hi, welcome back to I Confess with Travis. I'm your host, Travis Bartlett. So today I'm going to be talking to a guy. We're talking about the most insane stories and marijuana, weed, or whatever you want to call it. And this is going to be like an interesting story to everyone who's actually listening right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first call. So, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Doing good. Can't complain. So, I hear you got a story you want to tell. Yes, I do. It's actually a very pretty interesting one. It's also kind of tragic at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, be, kind of be a little prepared for this. Okay. So, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm going to start from here. So, my one buddy, this happened about, like, I want to say seven, maybe eight years ago. My one buddy who lost his family in a house fire. Oh like, wow! This story is this, this story is one hundred percent true. I, if I, I wish I was making this shit up, but he lost his family in a house fire, and he wasn't home at the time, and so he started staying at an apartment motel type shit. Mm-hmm. One night, one night he asked me to come over. He was like, "Hey man, you want to come over and smoke? I need someone to talk to." I was like, "Yeah, bro, I got you." Went over, to, went over there. We smoked, relaxed, talked a little bit, and he was like, "Hey man, I'm gonna run to the bathroom." I was like, I got, all right, bet. And he went to the bathroom, and I heard a loud-ass fucking bang, like a loud-ass bang. Mm-hmm. And I ran into the bedroom, and there was a 9 millimeter in his mouth, and half of his brains were all over the all over the walls and shit, bro. Wait, he shot himself? Yeah, yes, he, he, put, he, put a, he put a bullet in his head. And oh, my from, God. From, from his nose up, there was nothing there. He, there was nothing there. It was all gone. It was all over the wall. Oh, my God. It was true shit. True shit. Seen some pretty weird shit in my life. Mm-hmm. And I have too, but yeah. But not like that. Shit is pretty wild, man. Uh, also, I also have another uh, another story about trust. My best friend of 10 years fucked my ex-girlfriend, bro. <laughs> my best fucking friend of 10 years fucked my ex-girlfriend. And guess what? The bitch fucking cheated on him, too. So Karma came back and got his bitch ass. Mm-hmm. See, I actually have a friend who was, well, she used to get into some drugs and alcohol at the time. And years later, um, she's been kicked out of schools, rehab, and all this stuff. Because what happened was, I didn't find this out um, till like a couple weeks ago. Her boyfriend posted it on her sister's page talking about that she's lying about being completely sober but her friend has been bringing in the drugs and then over here putting her kids in danger which everyone no five years i'm five years off hardcore drugs bro people it's hard for people man i get it i get Mm -hmm. it sometimes some people it's hard to just go cold turkey that's why i I want cold turkey and that shit Well, see, when you start off with, like, doing drugs, you're probably thinking, like, oh, I'm not going to just, you know, I might just do maybe one or two, but then you get addicted to it, and then it just, and then it starts to control you. I used to abuse meth. Meth meth was my vice for a little Mm -hmm. while. That's what I used to do, but now I just stick to my good old dibby dabs and marijuana. Mm Mm-hmm. Keep it, keep it strictly legal over here, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even though it's illegal in certain states, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it's weird that people be making it legal. Like, what the fuck? It's weed. Well, see, I know that they legalized in California. I knew that. Colorado, they've been had weed oh, yeah. their entire life. But I also heard Florida legalized it, like, a little while ago. It's been maybe, like, a f- maybe like 10 years, maybe, I think they legalized. I don't know. And then someone told me that they legalized it in Tennessee, and I'm thinking like, there's no way that's possible. Yeah, it's legal in Tennessee. And I'm from Ohio, and it's legal here in Ohio right now. Oh wow. Yeah. Yes, sir. As of December 27th of 2024, that's when it became legal. So. Oh wow. It's only been, it's only, it's only been legal for a couple months now. Not See, too long. they're trying to legalize it here in uh, Georgia. But what they're doing, they keep saying, like, if you want weed, they'll give you, like, like, it's kind of like a liquid kind of weed. Not like the weed you smoke. It's like the liquid kind. I forgot what it's called. 
that's that's the shit they use just to smoke weed. Well, it's more like medical weed is what I'm Yeah, I know, I know what she means. The mean, medical weed is what they're saying. And I'm thinking, like, if they're going to give out medical weed, why don't they just give out weed, period? Right, that's what I'm saying. Why don't they just give out the fucking weed? Yeah. And it's it makes no sense. It grows everywhere. It's a plant. It grows right. everywhere. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be sold. Mm-mm. Right, I do it, agree. It should be sold by seeds, not by the flower. You know what I'm saying? Right. By the seeds, grow your own shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this man knows what's up. But I'm going to go bury some more people. You have a good night, sir. All right, and thank you so much for being on my podcast. Well, no problem, man. Anytime, anytime. All right. Bye. 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 I actually do agree with him because, you know, they've been talking about that they're going to legalize marijuana in certain states, including here in Georgia. I know for a fact it's hard uh, for people to legalize it. But it's so easy for people to actually get weed, like, left and right. And I understand that a lot of people smoke it. Let me tell you something. I used to smoke it. Um, yes, I can understand how um, things are. But, you know, I don't understand, like, if it's illegal, even though a lot of people are going to smoke it. They should already legalize it because it's the most popular thing to smoke is weed. And I actually um and I actually do agree with this guy. They do need to legalize weed everywhere in the United States, not certain parts of states, you know. I can actually tell you, um, I actually did download this app called Weed Map and I thought it was like where you can just find a drug dealer, you know, that can actually give you weed. But turns out weed map is only for like prescription drugs, like going to pharmacies and saying like, hey, you know, I need weed, you know, and stuff like that. I know it was kind of dumb showing different locations of pharmacies like Walgreens pharmacies, CVS pharmacies. Walmart pharmacies, Kroger pharmacies, you know. But obviously I can actually tell you how stupid I was. I mean, weed is everywhere. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and I will be right back. To take my second call. Welcome back to I Confess with Travis. And today, I'm going to be talking to a guy where he's going to be telling me a story about how he stole pencils at a local Walmart. This is going to be an interesting story. So, let me go ahead and take my second call. So, how are you doing? I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm still feeling guilty to this day, though. Oh. Uh -huh. like, so I hear you got a story you want to tell. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, it's a, it's not that bad of a story, but it's like when I was younger, I used to go to Walmart a lot, and like you know, little kids, they see shiny things and they're like, right. "Oh, I want one." So I stole 175 mechanical pencils from Walmart. It was in within two weeks, so like I was grabbing handfuls, mm -hmm. like, hand handfuls. Mm -hmm. And so one day she found out and she was like, where are all these pencils for? And so I told her the opposite of what I did, but the same thing. So I was like, I stole them from school. Right. Like and a so little white lie, like, basically. Yeah. Something like that. But she was the principal. And so, you know, I oh, was wow. her son going to the same school and she was like, yeah, no, we're not having that. But she never found out I stole the pencils from Walmart. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they know because they saw me on camera, probably stuff in my bag with all right. those pencils. But they were like those. Um, let me find. They what? were like. Um, imagine this fake Rolex, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine you turned it into a pencil with all the same colors, mm -hmm. like fluorescent, like lighting, all that when it mm -hmm. bounces off of it. Imagine that as a pencil. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I'm like one of them Robins or like whatever you see, right? Mm -hmm. Blue Jay. I'm stealing it. A 
course, I didn't have money, so it was like right. I take them out of the packages and I put them back. Like, uh, yeah, I feel good because I got that out of my system. But your mom but still doesn't know about it till now. She doesn't, but she thought I stole them from kids around the whole school. Oh, okay. Because we'd stay like overnight. Well, not overnight. We'd stay like half of the day. Right. And then she'd like let me just run around and stuff mm -hmm. in the gym. And I was like, hmm. I might go steal some pencils because right. me being, you know, um, a boy, it's like I like exploring. Right. I like seeing stuff. But yeah, that's that's probably one of the most nonchalant stories you've probably mm -hmm. heard today. See, I've never ever stolen anything from like stores and stuff. That's what's up. That's good, though. That's good. But I do remember uh, you used to, like, do this little sneaky thing, like, with people. Not, like, I remember, like, like, I don't know if you know what a Game Boy is. Yo. I don't I know if you know what it just, is. I, oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so I was, like, in fourth grade, and I had this little Game Boy, and I only had a couple games on it yeah yeah. and then someone at school um my fourth grade teacher was letting us have this little it wasn't really like a sleepover like stay the night at the school it was more like kind of oh. like a hangout kind of yeah thing. i know what you mean I like you know you like when your school is about to end they'll start saying okay yeah, yeah. we can do whatever you know and um yeah. what happened was i stole one of the games it was like a tom and jerry game but oh, no one didn't know about it Oh, but I've never well, heard of Tom and Jerry. Before. It was like an old Nintendo, like the little card thing. Yeah, yeah. So like, and it's um, about maybe that big. Yeah, yeah little, a little exactly bigger, about true. this big. Yeah. Oh, oh. Anyway, okay. not the DSs, but like regular Nintendos. Yeah. And um, the next day, I go to school, and they're over here like saying things like because I overheard someone talking. They did not mention me. But like, but then I heard someone talking. They said, uh, you know, I had a Tom and Jerry game over here and I can't seem to find it. And then they were all like, a couple of them were like fighting and say, well, you stole this from me. And da, 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 da. and I, I just kept my mouth shut. I was like, I'm surprised no one didn't say anything about me. That wasn't me. Do you still have like, it to this day? No, I think that's long gone. You got rid of that. Yeah, that you was like that long gone things. before, you know, when they started coming out with DSs and stuff and yeah. GameCubes and stuff. And I, I was haven't it played worth in it so. Though? I would have said, I would have said, yeah. Cause no, I would have kept my mouth shut because they're going to be like, well, I'm going to have to speak to your parents. I'm going to need it back tomorrow or I don't Ooh, know. We're going to have to sign some legal papers. Right. So I just kept my mouth shut. We I might said, have to get the president involved. That's right. Just I just kept down. my mouth shut. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to say a word. That's what's up. I, I wouldn't have either. But, like, I would have, like, snuck that joint back into his bag somehow once mm -hmm. I get bored of it. And he'd be like, right. oh, oh y'all off the hook. Y'all right. good. Type joint. But, like, mm -hmm. so, like, uh, uh, Game Boy, was it, like, one of the ones you could fold pretty much? And it was, like, half This one or wasn't, or like, a foldable one. This was, like, like, okay, do you know, like, a PSP kind of oh okay well instead oh, of having shit. the little disc you know it, it like has this little kind of it's instead of having a disc like the small little disc that comes yeah. in a little square thing you have that big compartment yeah you like just this. stick the game in there it's kind of like the psp you would have to look up it's yeah it's like a nintendo game boy oh so it's one of the older versions yes it's like not one of the okay that's cool yeah did you ever play pokemon like in that I don't think I have. I, I'm telling you, you play Pokemon now, you find a DS or something like that, it'll change your life. Mm. It's, it's, it's crazy. I was never really big on, like, Pokemon and stuff, but I remember me and my friend, like, I used to have a friend next door at my other house when I was, when we were kids, we would, like, play Pokemon. So instead of just saying, like, you know, like, this card... We'll beat this one. Like, we'll just say, like, okay, I got this card. Then he'll lay his down. I'll lay mine down. Like, well, that's how we... We would be like, this is going to beat him. This is going to beat him. And and it, yeah. it was just... We didn't play it like like reading yeah. the cards. We just, like, threw it down. Just said, look, like, this is my like character. My and he's going to beat it right. Water like, but see, I, I, don't know, I don't know the characters, but I used to collect that's them right. when I was little. Oh. Hello? 
Hello? I think I got disconnected. Don't you just hate drop calls? Well, anyway, when we were talking about stealing, you know, you need to watch out for that because stealing is not really a good thing to do, especially when you're, like, trying so hard not to get caught and then, you know, you'll get in trouble and then locked up. But all I can say is if you ever been caught stealing, you're probably going to be in jail and it's not really a good thing to get caught with. Do not steal, it's bad for you, and you can get into a lot of trouble. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. If you guys actually want to be on my podcast, please text 478-901-4445. That's 478-901-4445. And I will talk to you guys next week.